Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about asbestosis. Now what is asbestosis? Asbestosis is a type of pneumoconiosis and uh, it uh, is a type asbestos actually is a type of hydrated silicates which can form fibers. Now the initial injury by the asbestos which is the fiber occurs at the bifurcation of small airways and ducts of the lung. Here what happens is the macrophages they ingest these fibers and release some chemotactic factors and fibrogenic mediators causing the fibrosis. In this video we will discuss about the morphology which we see in the lungs the, the diseases which are associated with asbestosis and also the pathogenesis in detail. So here you can uh, main thing is uh, uh, the asbestos causes fibrosis. Now going to what are the spectrum of the disease the asbestos can cause. So the uh, spectrum of the disease is firstly it can cause uh, plugs, it can cause pleural effusion, it can cause interstitial fibrosis and also mal um, various malignancies. Now in malignancies in the lung uh, it can cause lung carcinoma okay which is also caused by multiple more things like tobacco smoking okay so, but a very specific tumor which is caused by asbestos is your mesotheliomas. So mesotheliomas are very uh, common uh, with the asbestos. They have a very strong relation uh, with the asbestos. Also some extra pulmonary neoplasms can also be caused by asbestos such as colon carcinomas and laryngeal carcinomas. Apart from the lung, these organs can also be involved in asbestos. So this is the spectrum of the disease in cases of asbestosis. Now going to the pathogenesis. Now when we are talking about asbestos in the chemical industry, there are two geometric forms of asbestos which are used mainly. Okay, so there is a one known as serpentine chrysotile and there is one amphibole type. Okay, so this uh, the chrysotile is the most common one which is used in the industry and this is less pathogenic. However, the amphibole is used very less but it is uh, very pathogenic. It is uh, responsible for the formation of the mesotheliomas, the malignant pleural tumors. So what is the difference between the chrysotiles and the amphiboles? So when they are, there is certain uh, difference in the pathogenicity there must be some difference in the structure so in the chrysotile if you see they are more flexible they have a curled structure to them okay when they have a curled structure what will happen they will get impacted in the upper respiratory passage and therefore will be removed by the normal cilia the mucociliary elevator they will uh, remove them so these are less pathogenic also they are more soluble than the amphibole ones However, in, if we talk about amphiboles one, they are very straight, okay, they are stiff and they, they are straight and stiff and therefore they will align themselves in the air stream and then they will get delivered deeper into the lungs. Now when they will get delivered deeper into the lungs, they will be not removed by the cilia. They will penetrate the epithelial cells, activate various macrophages and also can uh, reach interstitium and cause fibrosis. Both chrysotiles and amphiboles are fib uh, both are uh, fibrogenic but this is more pathogenic than the chrysotile one. Now what is the oncogenic role? Now we are talking that various uh, asbestosis it can cause your nor uh, lung carcinoma okay it can cause mesotheliomas in the lung. So uh, what is the reason behind this? So this asbestos can occur uh, act as both tumor initiator and promoter if you remember the chemical carcinogenesis so there is uh, a tumor initiation and promoter pathway so asbestos can occur both as an initiator and both as a uh, promoter also these asbestos now firstly these can produce free radicals now free radicals these can cause the direct damage and has a oncogenic role Second, some toxic chemicals can get adsorbed into the uh, uh, asbestos fiber. So if this is asbestos fiber, the person is also uh, smoking. So the tobacco from the smoke can get adsorbed into the, your, uh, into the uh, fiber and therefore there can be a synergy 
between the tobacco smoking and the development of the lung carcinomas they can be it can uh, add on to the oncogenicity of the fibers second uh, that was about the oncogenic role now there is uh, seen that there is a fibrosis in case of uh, asbestosis this is because of the macrophages now macrophages they try to in just any foreign material which is not easily being removed so macrophages both uh, alveolar and interstitial they try to ingest and clear the fibers and in this thing they release certain chemotactic factors certain fibrogenic mediators which uh, lead to fibrosis and therefore in case of your asbestosis you will see interstitial fibrosis is present now going to the morphology morphology will depend upon the stage okay depend upon the spectrum of the disease but we are talking about here asbestosis in which their main thing uh, seen is interstitial fibrosis so asbestosis in uh, there is diffuse pulmonary interstitial fibrosis now there is something known as asbestos bodies which we can see so what is asbestos bodies in this picture you can see this is a asbestos body the brown color one so it is a beaded structure okay here there is a translucent center present the translucent center which is present that is that is your asbestos fiber and upon those that fiber there is iron deposited okay the iron comes from the macrophages so this gets deposited and this is the asbestos body which you can see on routine histochemical staining so asbestos body is a golden brown beaded rods with a translucent center that is your asbestos fiber and this is coated with the iron containing proteinaceous material so this is the asbestos body which can you can see so here in this again you can see this is the asbestos body you can also see this is a normal carbon laden macrophages in the lung which are seen now asbestos always begins as fibrosis the fibrous tissue it distorts the architecture it causes uh, the enlarged air spaces to be surrounded by thick fibrous walls and this is the appearance which is known as honeycombed appearance this is seen on your x-ray also so the honeycomb appearance is uh, seen so the asbestosis mostly begins in the lower lobes and subpleurally also it can involves pulmonary arteries and arterioles and therefore can cause pulmonary hypertension or col pulmonale in the complication of asbestosis you will see there is a complication that is pulmonary hypertension or col pulmonale how it is caused because the scarring the fibrosis can entrap the pulmonary arteries also so therefore this can occur now pleural plugs now we discussed that uh, pleural plugs are also caused by asbestos so they are mainly the collagen which is deposited in the pleura so if you see this is the pleura this is the pleura and you can see this is the collagen which is deposited over the uh, pleura so this is uh, pleural plugs now pleural plugs in actual they are very asymptomatic okay and they are not that problematic to the person then you have lung carcinomas and mesotheliomas which can occur now lung carcinomas uh, is also very much common in the asbestos workers it is more common than the mesothelioma however mesothelioma is not seen in uh, other conditions so uh, specifically uh, asbestos is associated with the mesothelioma but it is uh, it can cause also lung carcinoma now clinical course how the person presents so the firstly the person will have a history of asbestos exposure it will have the history of uh, exposure in any industry so person can present with dyspnea they can be cough associated and mostly the duration is very high so it is the duration should be uh, it's around 10 to 20 years after that only the manifestations will appear in the person in the chest x ray if you see there will be linear densities which can be present then honeycomb pattern can be also present okay then disease in the person can remain static if it is only pleural plaque it will remain asymptomatic okay and the on the chest x ray there will be just densities which will be present however in some persons it can go to respiratory failure col pulmonale also and if uh, asbestosis causes lung carcinoma or your pleural cancer that is the mesothelioma it has a very bad prognosis so this is the main clinical course which is taking place in the person 
So this was all about asbestosis. Do ask your queries in the comment box. If you like this video, I will appreciate if you subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.